Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's top five. From American Life, 365 July 29th, 2024 Biden to call for Supreme Court reforms and overturn of presidential immunity. Israel approves a retaliatory strike on Hezbollah. U.S. launches military command in Tokyo to counter China. Venezuela's Maduro declares victory in third six-year term after disputed election. More people are driving on cannabis. Law enforcement is racing to learn who is high. All for Supreme Court reforms and overturn of presidential immunity key points. Biden's proposal. President Biden plans to propose a constitutional amendment to overturn the Supreme Court's decision granting former presidents immunity for crimes committed while in office. He will also urge Congress to establish term limits for justices and enforce a code of conduct. Historical context. Biden has historically resisted progressive calls to reform the Supreme Court but recent developments, including the court's decision on presidential immunity, have changed his stance. Public confidence. Biden emphasizes that no one is above the law and expresses concern that current Supreme Court actions undermine public confidence in the judiciary. Ethics concerns. There have been news reports questioning the ethics of some justices, including luxury vacations provided to Justice Clarence Thomas by a wealthy benefactor. Israel approves a retaliatory strike on Hezbollah retaliatory strike. Israel approved a retaliatory strike on Hezbollah in Lebanon following a deadly rocket attack on the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights. Diplomatic efforts. U.S. and Middle Eastern diplomats are working to prevent further escalation. Hezbollah's role. Hezbollah, backed by Iran, is accused of the attack but denies involvement in the deaths. U.S. support. The U.S. has reaffirmed its unwavering support for Israel's security. U.S. launches military command in Tokyo to counter China new U.S. military command. The U.S. will establish a new military command in Japan to strengthen security ties and coordinate military operations with Japan. Leadership and operations. Initially led by a three-star general, the command will plan joint exercises and participate in Japan's defense if needed. Strategic importance. This move aims to counter China's military buildup and address increased cooperation between Russia and China. Broader efforts. The initiative is part of a broader effort to enhance military relations and includes expanding production of Patriot anti-missile systems in Japan. Venezuela's Maduro declares victory and third six-year term after disputed election victory in Venezuela's presidential election, securing a third six-year term with 51.2% of the vote. Contested results. Opposition leaders contested the results, alleging vote count falsification, as Maduro had been trailing significantly in polls. Public reaction. Protests erupted in Caracas, while Maduro's supporters celebrated outside the presidential palace. International impact. Maduro's win complicates U.S. and allies' efforts to normalize relations and lift sanctions, potentially prolonging Venezuela's economic crisis. More people are driving on cannabis. Law enforcement is racing to learn who is high increased cannabis use. More people are using cannabis daily than alcohol, leading to more drivers under its influence on the road. Traffic fatalities. Legalization of marijuana is linked to an additional 1,400 traffic fatalities annually in the U.S. 2 Impairment awareness. Only 70% of drivers recognize the danger of driving an hour after using marijuana, compared to 94% for alcohol. Law enforcement challenges. Identifying cannabis impairment is difficult due to unreliable tests, with new saliva tests and officer training offering limited help. 